Hey, it's Chris Duncan here. On this video, I wanted to talk to you about why uh, you might consider getting a one-on-one -on -one coach. It, it's something that many of us aren't used to thinking about is why would we want a coach? Uh, why would we need a coach and how will it help? The, the truth is, is having a coach, having someone who's not emotionally bought into everything that you're doing in your life, who is one step away and that can watch and give you guidance is probably the most valuable investment you can, uh, you can make after investing in your own education. You've got to ask, why does your favorite sports team have a coach? Does your favorite musician, do you think they had a vocal coach or someone to teach them how to play the instrument? Uh, why, does a, why do personal trainings exist? They exist because you need someone to see your swing, someone to watch what you're doing and to organize it. Put another way, if you had two different teams uh, playing a game of sports and one team has a coach, uh, who would you bet on? And obviously it's a team that has the coach. If you had, uh, if you watch marathon runners or you watch somebody in weightlifting, typically the person who's a coach cannot do as well as the player. They're actually a skilled coach. In basketball, uh, the great Phil Jackson was a coach of Michael Jordan, also Kobe Bryant. He got more rings as a coach than either of those two ever did as a player. He was a good player in his own right. Uh, he actually made it to the NBA, but he's he's not in the conversation of the greatest ever, which Jordan and, uh, and Kobe are. And, and so a coach is somebody that gets the most out of you. Having a business coach or a personal coach is, is absolutely been, it's something that I invest in second, to, second only to education, second only to education. In fact, that everyone, uh, all the top leaders in Silicon Valley, there was a book written about their coach. It's called The Trillion Dollar Coach. And uh, you can have a look, I believe his name is Bill Campbell. And he was the coach to a whole heap of these top Silicon Valley executives who just wanted somebody to, to talk to, to, to run ideas by that wasn't invested in the business or the staff or, or anything else. See, as a business owner or in life, it's very difficult to find impartial knowledge or impartial people that you can just talk to, you know, especially in business, as you become more and more successful, the, the people that you can talk to gets less and less and less. Like there are some things you cannot talk to your staff about. You cannot talk to your, um, bank manager about um, your, your friends you can't talk about. Sometimes your spouse is sick of hearing about, about uh, your business. So, so having a coach is amazing, but not all coaches are created equal. One of the biggest problems with coaching is when a coach tries to give you advice and tell you what it is that you should be doing, um, taking the power from your own decision making. I see that as a massive problem. You never have a coach that's there to give advice. Uh, they can give you advice about how you should think or how you should be with certain situations, but not how to do things. Okay. The, the second mistake I see uh, with a lot of coaching is they focus on the problem. They focus on, on what's wrong and what they need to fix. So what it is that you need as a coach is someone that can hold you to what we term the creative orientation. The creative orientation is when you're focused on creating end results that you love. The second thing, a coach must have the ability to help you shift resistance that you have to that outcome. The third thing, the coach must keep you accountable. Fourth, the coach must help you find your own personal end results and your own personal answers. And five, the coach should get a return on investment. Your business should grow, your life should be easier, and you should just feel like you have someone in your corner that is paid to, to be there with you to make sure you're living on the highest frequency and not getting stuck in your egoic self-conscious uh, uh, agendas. And, and that's a really important thing. Having a coach gives you a return on that investment into the coach. And, and so my coach, I've got uh, three coaches at the moment that I work with, a business coach, I have an intuition, a uh, super conscious coach, and then I have an alchemy uh, coach. And all three of them I work with intimately on, on different areas. I also have a personal trainer, a chiropractor. So I have lots of people there that are helping me to you know, coach me and be in the right direction. And I'm the only one that makes the final decision. What a coach and what coaching has allowed me to do is to have multiple people and multiple um, facets that I could be connected into. So my business uh, coach, business mentor, he's made 10 times more money than I've ever made. 
Uh, and that's fantastic. I love, I love connecting into that field and having him make sure I'm focusing and thinking the right when it comes to my business. My intuition coach helping me make correct decisions, reading the field. She's amazing. She's actually uh, someone who gets hired by the uh, LA police force to actually uh, do intuition and find missing people. Phenomenal. And then, uh, you know, when I, when I work with William uh, Whitecloud and I, and I understand, you know, alchemy and choice making and creation, and I'm with him. And it's not that any of those people are better or worse than me. It's just that they are there to serve me in that moment. We're engaged in a certain way. And that allows me to be me and live to my fullest. They keep me accountable and keep me, me uh, on track. Now, if you've never had coaching or ever considered it, I really, really highly recommend that is something you do. If you're interested in coaching, we would love to talk to you. We have uh, about 600 certified coaches in our Magnetic Mind Method. And we also have in internal coaches. And something I'm very passionate about is we've just started and created a business coaching program. And in our business coaching program, we're combining my marketing school with my super conscious creation school, bringing it together, plus uh, business understanding as well. So it's, it's, it's one of a kind to help business owners go big, go to the next level. Anyway, you can click and get more information. Here's what I want to leave you with. Having a coach is what smart, successful people do. It is not what uh, many think it's weak to have a coach or asking for help is, is not the right thing to do. You don't go to co a coach when you need the help. You go to a coach when you're wanting to create big results. You don't go running when you've got a problem. Ah, oh, come fix me. I've got no money. But it's when you're actually moving and you're actually being successful. That's when you want to double down on your success and turn your 10% your or 20% improvement to 30 or 40 or 50. The best time to engage in a coach is when you're moving. The hardest time is when you're not moving. The coach has got to come in and try to help you and get things moving. So if you're moving and you want to go faster, you should check out uh, what it is we're doing. Love you so much. Thanks for subscribing to this channel. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye for now.